things could have been worse. We have DDEP, even yes. external creditors who have had to take a lot of haircuts externally. Uh, we've had difficulties in managed bread and butter issues. I'm sure the dollar could have been ha how much? It's now 70. You say it could have been how much? I say it could have been worse. We don't know. So what rate yes. do you think the dollar would have been? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The situation could you have been worse. Yeah, because I, maybe I, we I, get I, figures I, to support mm, the, the I mean, depreciation issues under, that's the argument. under GM. Yeah, this, this what morning, we have now. my brother feigned ignorance and said he's relying on a so-called Ghana Education Service or Ministry of Education oh, investigation. Systems, First of all, it's important to make this point. There's conclusive evidence from the FDA about that illegality. The, the, same, rice, the yes, sports rights. The same had been admitted by the company. What is painful that this rice was taken to Presec and distributed to secondary schools in Greater Accra. Presec it, also got? Yes. If you're a young man and you are watching me today, and you were fed from December 2023 to date. Know that you were given expired rice. You cannot reward the people who decided to feed you with expired rice well, with your food. But you see, even more yeah, important, this morning I listened to uh, 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 the executive director of Global Info Analytics make the point, consensus, uh -huh. that the economy is the number one yeah. on the priority yeah. of Ghanaians. Yeah. In yeah. fact, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya had this to say, and I'll just reference him. He said, at the end of the day, the pocket is the economy. No amount of economic gymnastic or rhetoric can ever change that, unquote. Look, with this said, it leaves nobody in doubt that for the 2024 election, the economy will be number one, number two, number three. People are looking for jobs. And that is why H. E. John Dramani Mahama has promised the young people of this country that with the benefit of power, 25,000 young people will be offered employment within our security agencies in order to actualize the 24-hour economy policy program. Employment? Because, yes, because security is linked with ensuring that the 24-hour economy policy program works. Two, as many of our women who have decided to do their own business, H.G. E. John Dramani Mahama has a beautiful package for you. That is the Women Development Bank. And he's targeting to support over one million women with capital to start. And look, the unique thing is, and on the campaign, I always tell uh, the women folks, I say, when a woman gets so much money, he doesn't marry another man. Nah. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. When a woman gets money, he doesn't marry another man. You understand? So when you support- but women don't change men like that. Please, implying? when you support our women with skills, employable skills and resources, the end benefit is that at the end of the day, you are empowering a household, which for me is very important. The other thing is, H. E. John Dramani Mahama is promising young people of this country one million digital skills, one million young people with digital skills, coding program. In fact, in our 2020 manifesto, it was in. I've noticed that the MPP have decided to go and steal that policy and make it look like this. It never featured in your 2020 manifesto. Where you suddenly got that policy from, I don't know. So if you pick the 24-hour economy policy program, you pick the 25,000 jobs, security jobs, you pick the 1 million sub, uh, uh, women benefiting from the Women Development Bank. Among other things, John Dramani Mahama is going to do a robust attack of the distance. But you see... My brother makes the claim. Yeah, he says that, that, that the economy, if not for Dr. No, Mahmoud Obama no, and the economic management team and Dr. And that he uh, even make the point that the, the economy, economy could have been worse. No, the city said, would have been he worse. He even said that the economy has turned yeah, around the corner. Around, yes. mm -hmm. How can an economy turn around the corner when your exchange rate is doing 17 cities to a dollar? And now let me put it in practical terms. Let me put it in practical terms. This morning, you are a fisherman. You are watching me. In 2016, you needed 3,600 Ghana cities to buy one outboard motor. 3,600. Today, 
Under the watch of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, you need 38,000 to buy the same outboard motor. The economy has turned around. Two, if you are a businessman and you had 1 million Ghana cities in 2016, that 1 million gave you $250,000. So if you're a spare pass dealer, you are a, a Obroni Wawu buyer, or you bring Obroni Wawu to come and sell for burn down boutique people, right? What you should know is that in 2016, you could get, if a container is $50,000, you could get five containers without $250,000. Do you know today, under the incompetent mismanagement of the exchange rate by Dr. Mahmoud Obamia, that one million Ghana cities that used to give you $250,000 is now giving you $65,000. They say it could have been worse. I beg you, hold on. It's giving you $65,000 from $250,000. Painfully, painfully today. If you needed $10,000 to buy anything abroad, do you know that you needed 42,000 cities in 2016 to get that $10,000? Today you need 172000 Ghana City. The economy has turned, uh, turned around the corner. Now, the most painful part, the most painful part, if your mother, your father, is on diabetes drug, is on BP drug, by reason of the exchange rate depreciation, it is costing you four times to buy the same BP drug, the same diabetic drug for our mothers. George, are you not ashamed of yourself oh. that this morning you are defending that incompetence, that murderers, that murderers? Today people are dying because they are unable to buy their BP and diabetic drug. Hmm. What you should be doing? Aduji, why are you running down the government? And to because he says that it could have been worse, Aduji. But you see the painful part. When Akufuado got fifty-eight million dollars. One would have expected that prudence, a man at his advanced age, you would think about the future of our people. Do you why, know why he did? Why are you going with this? He used $58 million to dig a hole. You know, Saglame? Ah, at least their houses. Their houses. You can see houses that That's you have wasted. You that you have wasted. At least you can see houses. So what we have is. here. Look, from this show, <laughs> I want the next Monday show to be done at the cathedral site. For Ghanaians who have an appetite. You, you want what? The next show on Monday to be done at the hole, near the hole, the hole at the cathedral. That's fine. But, oh, please, 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 no. I beg you. Do you know the painful part? You've used $58 million. That's almost 1 billion Ghana cities to dig a hole. Young people are looking for jobs. That over 1 billion Ghana cities that was used to dig a hole. My brother, courage. That money was enough to create one million jobs for young people. Akufado wasted that money. Painfully, painfully. As we speak now, Akufado has awarded $54 million contract for supply of ambulance to the boyfriend of the daughter, Stephen Okoro, the Nigerian guy. $54 million. What's wrong with award of contract? Ah, so sourced. For Is nothing. Oh, hold on. As we speak, a Akufuado, together with Eslawusu, awarded a contract to a Nigerian. And this is the most painful part. Whereupon, we are paying this Nigerian, Kenny GVG, $1.5 million every month for no work done. Lie. What do you mean by no way? Tell you what Kelly is doing. Look, they brought Kenny GVG to come and do revenue assurance. <laughs> they claimed that the, the, the telcos were Good. stealing. Good. They were under declaring. Good. From 2018 to date, we have demanded data from Kenny GVG to show, but for their intervention, how much was lost. No data, no work. And listen, Akufuado. <laughs> you are nodding your head. See, anyway, that's uh, Courage Nobi. Welcome. I'll conclude on this. The painful part of all of this is a vote for Dr. Mahmoud Obamia 
It's a protection of the Kenny GVG deal. That benefit Akufuado directly. You mean it to be cancelled? It's so, so, uh, no, should, no, should there is German. no legal justification for continuing the Kenny GVG deal. But I want to conclude on this. Look, the, the Catholic bishops. What are they done to you? They, they called Catholic, you? No, the Catholic bishops had their last program and concluded. And because you raised the issue of governance, governance, governance. Yeah. so I want to conclude <laughs> on this vest issue by our respected Catholic bishops. And this is what they say. <clears throat> I'll conclude on this. Oh. Approve anti-LGBTQ bill. Oh. Catholic bishops to Akufuado. My brother here is a Christian. <laughs> I'm a Christian. Courage, he is even a you man should, of God. You should approve what? Amado has said it. Oh, party. wait, please, please, please. LGBTQ. Yes. Courage here is a very respected man of God. <laughs> the Catholic bishop are saying that Akufuado's refusal to sign the anti LGBTQ law is deliberate. And that what Akufuado has done is to provide excuses upon excuses. The only irresistible conclusion you can give is that Mr. Akufuado cannot, cannot, cannot ensure a legislation that has caused please lawyer. cannot ensure that the laws of this country is culturally sensitive. It matters not to Akufuado and Dr. Mahmoud Obamia if the young people of this country, the young people of this country, if the young people of this country engage in conduct unbecoming. And that is why the Cali <laughs> Bishop have come to the conclusion that he, should sign. he, Mr. Akufuado, together with his vice, Dr. Mahmoud Obamia, must ensure that this law is passed. Failure within which Ghanaians have Every right to reject the MPP in the nurse. What rule of law? I could have no instigated. He instigated the plaintiffs. He should disrespect them. He instigated the plaintiffs to go to court. You are not to stop them from him. That's how we He instigated Amanda. I know Amanda. Economy. Unemployment. Education. We have roads. Corruption all in there. And then the, uh, the women's development and other things like that, that become the solution to reversing the trend as we have it. They say they still hold the key to an issue. Going forward, looking at these benchmarks, that seem to be the concern of ordinary Ghanaians. The economy on one hand, unavailability of jobs. They are saying the education sector, they want free SHS, for example, to be maintained. And you take a look at the governance side, the corruption, etc. How do we improve these? Okay. So, I want to even do this by making a reference quote. October 31st... You have three minutes. Yes. Sir. October 31st, 2016. Gabi Asari Otre Dako. The NDC is campaigning on infrastructure. And this is what a university don't say about it. The economy is number one. The economy is number two. The economy is number three. Because when we have a better economy, all other sectors perform well. Building a hospital is a very good thing. But that is not how it is done. If you have existing hospitals and you lack doctors, your doctors are going on strike and you do not have enough medicine. Don't go and build another hospital. So today, you are here parroting infrastructure, infrastructure. Gabi says... It matters not. Grow the economy. Now, you said this morning that of the key factors, economy is one, but exchange rate is not. <laughs> Don't repeat that again. I respect you a great deal. Bamiya told us, when in doubt, observe the exchange rate. In fact, he says that in an open economy, the most important indicator is the exchange rate. So the exchange rate is directly connected to the performance of the economy. You feel so ashamed. Jesus. You feel so ashamed that under the watch of Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia, the exchange rate is doing 17 cities. It is the worst we have seen no. in democratic governance. No. Look, 
The economy suffers when inflation goes high. Under your watch, inflation went to 54%. At that time, we were the third worst scenario except South Sudan and Zimbabwe. That is where you have got. That is your scorecard. Do your distinction. Now, even more worrying, mm. harrowing. Akufuado and Bamiya in eight years have shown us horror movies. They've shown <laughs> what movie? Horror movies <laughs> in the day, night, and every time. And you have the temerity to sit on air and say you have done infrastructure. You have inflated the cost of infrastructure no, project please, for your personal please. benefit. Do you know the most worrying please. part? <laughs> the Auditor General appointed uh, by Mr. Yeah. Akufado <laughs> conducted an audit on Cocoa Road projects and concluded that 87% of those contracts were awarded sole source, true or false, and said, by reason of that sole source, it costs the taxpayer you should more. Be wrapping up. Yes, I will. It costs the taxpayer more. Now he says, if it was NDC, it could be worse. Regrettable. You don't even understand the, how the economy because works. The oh, there. please. The reason why our CD is going up is that we have depleted our reserve. That's yeah, about that's, that's right. about you too. You borrowed so much no. that under John Mahama, the number one item on our budget was salaries and emolument. Today, it is interest payment and amortization. You don't even understand the economy. Two. That was number two under my armor. Yes, yeah. but now it is number one. Because the bulk <laughs> of the money <laughs> is used to service our debt. And that is why the HA. And you don't you service, hold on. Times. You don't service your public debt okay. using CDs. So you have to go and buy. Simple economics. The more you chase something, the higher the pressure you put on it. I think you should know this. And yeah, next time, don't I do that. that. <laughs> but you see, the painful part, and I'll, conclu I'll conclude I'll conclude on this. He talks about President Kufo. If a man wakes up one morning and knocks off zeros from his currency, how is that sound economic management? Oh. How is that sound economic management? Oh. And so that is what you did. Joe Mahama could have oh, just woken nice. up one morning and said, I'm knocking off zeros. Which you is. don't do that. First of all, you have to have strong buffet. And that is why Joe Mahama left you, the sinking fund, oh. the heritage please, fund, please. All the Esra yeah, fund, Esra alone had given you over 30 Energy billion. You wasted it. Index. But you see, I'll conclude on this. Of insurance, yeah, no, you're supposed to conclude. Oh, yeah, now let me just conclude. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me just conclude. No. No. You, see, you see, there is a saying if you go to the University of Ghana, <laughs> Legon Hall, yes. the motto is there mm -hmm. to whom much is given, much, much is, is expected. Yes. Akufado That's and Bamia, please. Akufado yes. and Bamia, in eight years, have gotten 700 billion Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. 700 billion. Yes. In eight years, Mills, Mahama, and Misata. They said they have roads. Oh, no, hold on. 12, you, are, you are now taking part of the roads. time. What happened Amazon is that cost. under Joe Mahama, the envelope of financial resources complying loans, tax revenue mm -hmm. was 248 Massive billion in eight years. In the space of seven years, Tax revenue alone is 400 hours. billion. <laughs> what have you used the money for? Phenomenal. We have them. Painfully. Yeah. You have started in three on minutes. Right so corruption. Three minutes.